So you've been asking me, what are my favorite music distributors of 2021? And I thought it would be cool to, instead of making like a top five video, just to show you quickly, what are the two music distributors I use to release my music? And also what music distributors I think are really cool right now that I'm going to try as well this year as an experiment. My name is Charles Klein. I'm an indie musician, singer songwriter, and producer. So if you are making music, you're a singer songwriter or producer yourself, or you're trying to get your music heard then this channel is probably for you because these are all the videos I make about music production and music marketing. The two distributors that I've used the most since really starting to release music about three years ago are DistroKid and TuneCore and I've had no problems with either platform. There's been some negative press on each and there's been some positive press on each. As it goes for any distributor, there's always going to be some bad things and there's always going to be some good things. There's always going to be a variance in cost versus the features they offer as well. My favorite thing about DistroKid is it's so simple and they do payment splittings and it happens to be that a lot of my co-writers are also in DistroKid. So that's easy just to split money. You don't have to do the payout you know, transfers or anything. However, I wish they were better on mobile. Let's get to that later. My favorite thing about TuneCore is that it offers TuneCore publishing. So if you're an artist that's not signed to a label yet and you need a publishing service, TuneCore does offer this service for you. Again, I also wish TuneCore was better on mobile. Here's where it kind of segues into the conversation of this video, which is two distributors that I'm going to be trying this year that I think are starting to make waves. So Amuse and United Masters are two other distributors that I think are shaking things up because they both offer free distribution and United Masters offers free distribution, but they take a percentage of your royalties, about 10% of your royalties. Amuse offers free distribution, but you get to keep 100% of your free royalties. But because Amuse makes it so good, free distribution and 100% free royalties, they're going to offer you a slim down approach to music distribution. So you, there is a 15% fee if you want to do royalty splits. You won't be able to release your music to all the streaming services. For example, TikTok and Instagram, you won't be able to release your music on these platforms, which kind of sucks actually because you really want your music on those platforms. Um, and some other things here, you you won't have team accounts, multi-user accounts, no customer lead date, and no custom label name which are cool things to have. So they're gonna to try to get you to upgrade to a Muse Pro. But you have to ask yourself, is it worth it? Maybe you only want your song on Spotify or Apple Music and you don't care about these other things, then totally it's worth it. Free distribution and 100% free royalties. Why I think United Masters and Amuse, this type of free distribution versus a cut of royalties or a slimmed down kind of package, why I think they're shaking things up is because there's so much music being released nowadays and not everyone is getting I think that many streams. So it really depends what your return of it on investment is. For example, let's do a, some quick calculations here. Let's say you're on DistroKid, you pay $20 a year for unlimited music. Okay, so let's say you release five songs over five years, okay? So let's say that's 20 bucks times five years. So you pay $100 worth of distribution over five years. Okay, so you need to make $100 back in streaming revenue to break even for your distribution over five years. So let's say over five years, let's say 100, we're gonna divide that by the streaming cost, which is let's say on average 0 0.006, the streaming payout. So that's 16,666. So let's round up, let's say 17,000. So can you get 17,000 streams over five years on your music? I would assume so. But if you can't, then you are losing money on your music distribution. So it definitely makes sense to go with something free, like United Master or Amuse, because you don't have to pay anything. You'll save that 100 bucks. Now let's make this a bit more interesting. Let's say over five years, you actually get 50,000 streams on your music. So 50,000, and your payout rate is 0 0.006. Okay, on payout. So you made 300 bucks over five years. Oh, however, with DistroKid, let's say you're going with them for a paid distributor, you keep 100% of that royalty, but you've been paying DistroKid over five years, which is 100 bucks. So subtract 100 bucks. And now your total is 200 bucks. So you have 200 bucks. Okay, so let's say you're on United Masters, for example. So you get 50,000 streams, your stream payout is 0 0.06. So you made 300 bucks. However, you got to pay for your distribution and United Masters, they're taking 10% cut of that. So you keep times 
90%, so 0.9, so you're gonna have $270, which is a greater return than DistroKit. So you're making $70 more on United Masters versus that you would on DistroKit in this simple example, right? There's a lot of added complexity here, stream payout, the amount of songs you release, how many streams total and stuff, but just kind of keeping it simple here. Okay, now let's make things even more interesting. Okay, let's say you have 100,000 streams over five years. Okay, so that's a payout rate of, so you made $600 over five years and um, your distribution cost for DistroKid over five years is 100 bucks. So your profit is 500 bucks. Now with United Masters, it was 600 um, total stream payout and then you keep 90%. So still 540 bucks. So we're getting closer where it makes more sense now. You can see kind of going down. So I would assume when you're making a million streams, for example, this is where it kind of can get interesting. So if you're making a million streams um, over five years, which is, you know, doable for an indie musician over total songs, right? Because we're, we're not putting a cap on the number of releases here. So a million streams, $6,000 over five years. Okay, your distribution cost for DistroKid, 100 bucks. Pretty simple, right? So your total profit for DistroKid over a million streams over five years is 5,900 bucks. Okay, so we had 6,000 total revenue for five years, and then with United Masters, you, only, you get to keep 90% of that. So $5,400, where you really have to ask yourself, am I going to reach the threshold in revenue where it makes sense for me to release on DistroKid, for example? For example, if you get a million streams over five years, it makes sense to go with DistroKid. Also, we're not talking about a significant, maybe huge margin of a difference over five years, right? We're only talking about um, like a few hundred bucks. So it really doesn't matter maybe at the end of the day, but you will be saving some money here or there. But I hope these types of calculations can kind of just give you an idea of like, what else is out there and how you can think about these things. And if you're thinking about these things regularly, you need help with this stuff, then please feel to subscribe because I'm an indie musician myself making music and trying to help you get your music heard by sharing the things that I'm doing, what's working and what's not working. So please feel free to subscribe and I hope to see you in the next video.